A big wine canister. It's open and empty. That's a shame. Moonshine, probably. Smells like tasty fermentation. The smell. It's awful and familiar. Uh... What is it? Don't you recognize it? That idiot's pungency. That faintly cloying sweetness. Only death smells like that. Oh, it's a dead corpse, isn't it? Yes. A sense of Shit. dread washes over you as you look ahead. Oh, damn. Careful there. These floorboards look rotten and weak. Oh, no. There's some tear, an empty cigarette package, and a crumpled kebab wrapper in the trash bin. And a kebab? Oh, no. Two empty bottles of Tallulah vodka and a can of black potent porter is all you find. Good enough? No, there's more in there. Livis strawberry liquor, plus some pills in the bottles, too. Better not pick them up. They seem unhygienic. <laughs> when have we been concerned about unhygienic? Okay, let's check out the cigarette package. Whoever tossed it here was a heavy smoker. The brand name reads Red Astra. And the kebab wrapper? You see traces of mayonnaise and ketchup on it, as well as a tomato wedge. The wrapper reads Shish Kebab Revachon. Okay. It's hard to concentrate in the smell. The sea air brings some relief. I bet. Oh, man. Oh, we've got some lots of healing and lots of uh, lots of health healing and morale healing. That's good. Probably gonna need those here. A man lies on the boardwalk. Oh! His limbs bent and neck turned at an unnatural angle. Right next to him. Oh is my a God! Bottle of spirits in his cramped hand. A chewing gum wrapper. Is this working class woman's husband? Half of his body has slipped between the crack boardwalk, starting with the left leg. The fall has left him broken, contorted like a sad puppet. Okay, it says right leg, but, uh, all right, narrator. The smell is not as bad as a two-week-old corpse, but it's definitely heading there. So less than two weeks. Another dead body. This is your job. Steal yourself. We don't even have Kim with us this time. Calm now. Carefully. Just another day. Just another dead body. Breathe. Okay. We could do this. Where do I start? I don't have Kim here. Uh, the man. The man has fallen through a crack in the boardwalk and hit his head against the metal bench. Coagulated blood covers his black hair. One of his feet is still dangling through the hole. You have to be quite inebriated to fall that bad. Well over a liter of pure ethanol. Three bottles of wine or one and a half of spirits. Let's take a look at his face. His expression is dull, like the sea behind That's him. That's pretty creepy. Drops of water shining on his mustache. His eyes, empty and wide, look frightening in their frozen gaze. So he just got too drunk and then slipped and fell and hit his head on the bench? Height, 170 to 175 centimeters. Curly hair, stout build, age approximately 50 to 60 years. It's a good thing we have our uh, coat on. So we're like, you know, we're looking official, kind of. Not he really. He was confused when he died. <laughs> Not with the hat. Confused and alone, most likely. Overcome with the awful surprise of it all. He was just about to head home. The first step back home proved to be his last. Let's check out the clothes. He's wearing mud caked boots, beige trousers, and an old brown leather jacket with a bright blue lining. There are traces of kebab sauce on his chest. Oh, he's the one that threw the kebab out. A cool leather jacket with a bolt of blue? Oh no. This sounds terribly familiar. It's been such a long time. I don't remember the description that working class woman gave us. Let's check his pockets. You find some sunflower seeds and a rain soaked library card folded into two. His jacket feels sodden and heavy under your hand. I'll have to check out that card. 
What about the surroundings? There's some dried blood on the metal bench, right where the corpse's head rests. The floorboards are rotten and slippery wet around the hole. Yeah. An empty bottle lies nearby. A chewing gum wrapper is clutched in his fist. What is with chewing gum wrappers in this world? Guess we'll start from with the gum wrapper. Rubowski spearmint chewing gum. Green leaves on the cover. The man's mouth is half agape from the terror of the fall. Oh no. We got to. Look in. The blackness of death. Stench. You think you see white chewing gum too. Confirmed. Nearly the whole pack is there. Solidified on his lower rear. Oh, that's 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 really Oh, that's that's bugging me maybe even more than anything else. Step on the floorboards. Let's check the bottle. A 0.75 liter Tallulah vodka with its cap missing. There's hardly anything left inside. It's mid-market spirits with a slight touch of menthol. The man meant to enjoy himself, have a good time. Hmm. Let's check the head. A dried chunk of blood covers the hair at the back of his head. An open wound. It's sticky and cold to your touch. This is where he came out of himself. Dropped by oh. drop when he was unconscious. It took three, maybe four minutes. No, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if we want to do this, but let's try. The boards screech under the weight of the T-500 ceramic Oh, that's tongs. cool. It's a good thing they're so light, because it's hard to determine whether it was the dead man's weight that caused the boardwalk to break. It definitely looks fragile. That's so cool that they integrate what you're wearing into uh, into the dialogue. You see waves churning below. Something cracks beneath your feet. I'm very impressed by like small details in games. I don't know if you've noticed that yet or not, but like, I really appreciate that. It ta it takes effort. The entire boardwalk creaks in the wind as you take a step back. What should we do with the body? First, you need to talk with the lieutenant, then report back to the station. This is too complicated to handle on your own. Okay. More and more, I'm getting the feeling that I need Kim around to do important stuff. This coin-operated viewer has been out of order for years. Let's keep uh, searching around, though. We don't have Kim here. Wait, is that it? I thought we were going to go into this building. Maybe not. Can't go into any of this area. Huh. Yeah, I thought this was going to like lead into the building because I feel like there's something to interact with over there. There's this fence. Let me check the map. So that would have been like here, right? Or I guess it's where the Ferris wheel was. Cause this seems to be the, the tents, right? These things here. I think I figured this out before that that... I remember that this is an old map, right? Stop messing with the coin viewer and hold on to something. The wind is so strong. Or maybe I'm just misreading the map, because this doesn't long look long enough to have a, a Ferris wheel on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got the card. A library card found from a pocket of the dead man on the Martinez boardwalk. It's still slightly damp to the touch. The cover bears the stamp of Jamrock Public Library. The library card is folded into two and still slightly wet to the touch. The front side reads, Central Jamrock Public Library Card. Issued to Billy Mejean. Expires July 53. Check inside. Whoever owns this card is an avid reader. 
you find a list of books written in blue pencil. Radio Thriller. Stand a little less between me and the sun. The last one in the list is The Glinton Curve by M. Theobald. A library stamp indicates that. That's the book Tebow. Has been That's returned. not Theob Theobald. <laughs> but okay. Um... Most of these titles seem to be in the sci fi genre. Some thrillers, too. Look at the backside. If lost, please return the card to the library. Dial. Zero zero five zero two five five two oh. one one, or visit us at Moreau Street, seventy eight Jamrock. You should first decide what to do with the corpse before taking any further actions. Talk to Kim about it. Okay. Is there anything else over here? Is this it? That would be like right here, like right over here. It looks like that's it. I wonder if we can get to this spot, maybe by boat. Oh, we've got so much to do. Let's let's actually do like a quick review here, going all the way back to Monday. Joyce's info on the lynching. So we did present her with the badge and she still wants us to work on uh, the, um, finding out about the smuggling operation. I don't know what's going on with this. I feel like we've talked to Kim about the case. We got briefed, right? Well, there's another briefing. I'm, I'm cool if you guys want to, uh, explain this to me, what, uh, what I need to do to complete this. Ask another about tattoos. So Joyce was someone that we could ask about that, but she, once again, she wants us to help her out. The armor pieces. Yeah. Okay. The secret passage, we haven't found a way in. I'm thinking that that secret passage probably leads to what we saw uh, in like this under the streets. Uh, armored gloves. Ask the little girl in the fishing village down the coast who knows something about the armored gloves. That's something we can do. This is something we could do too. I kind of don't want like... Everard's... He, he said he wanted to build like a youth center. Don't, don't think that's what he wants to do. I think he just wants the uh, territory so he can make money off of it. So I kind of want to forge the signatures because that makes them invalid. Um, so we'll see. We need money for that. We need um, logic, I think, for that one. Shots. Check the check lands end for bullet traces. Check boardwalk for bullet traces. Check island for bullet traces. I'm trying to remember what lands end was. Hold on to the spirits and oh right, the signal. <laughs> the traps. Now this is this is the reason why uh, Morel and Gary haven't gone back. We need to check uh, the four traps. So we got check the trap near the boathouses west of the Feld building. Check the trap Morel just set up. Check the trap in Land's End, far northeast of the Feld building. Check the trap near the canal you cross southeast of the village. Okay. The nightclub. We're going to go back to the church because we determined, we found that um, that info. Uh, when we got into the computer, right? So we need to talk to her again. Oh yeah, Egghead. And the Noid. Associates. Acel refused to talk about her friends. Maybe she'll open up later. After the nightclub, okay. Find a starving artist to become their patron. Death smell, we'll have to do this later. Ballistic analysis on the bullet. I think we need Kim for that. Jam mystery. Find out who the lady driver and where's her lorry. We got the dead body. So land's end. How do we get there exactly? We haven't gone up this way. Maybe maybe it's this way. It must be.
2234. These rusty gears used to turn the whole machine. The chain trails off into the ocean to who knows where. So that's here. Hmm. This barrel has been recently discarded. It still smells of fuel oil. Nice. Ooh, white polo shirt, rhetoric, and plus one rhetoric, minus one empathy. Very nice. I'll do this for you guys, because it bothers you. Oh yeah, we got the Mega Bino's prescription lenses. Whose idiotic idea were square and beige plastic frames anyway? Beige is a color that does not look good on anyone. Not to mention that seeing the world through those exceedingly thick lenses feels almost nauseating. I didn't write it, okay? If you got beige frames, I'm cool with you. Um, okay. This shirt looks worn and smells a bit. You can't help but wonder who would leave it stuffed in a tar container. What kind of man would even wear a polo shirt? Hey, I kind of like polo shirts. This might be one of life's mysteries that will never be soft. <laughs> They're comfy. I like simple things. Simple shirt. Actually, I haven't really worn a polo shirt in a while, so I don't know why I'm defending this. The boardwalk rises to your south. It casts long shadow over yours. Here's the trap. There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. Looks like the same one you saw Morel set before. Same mesh, same wiring. Look around. The reeds shake sadly in the coastal breeze, weighed down by rain. They seem to be waiting for something. The wind picks up here, near the cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Let's reach for it. Locusts are crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. All right. One checked. Cigarette butts cleaned away under a rock. Ice cracking. Uh brand was Tio something or other. Is that the same brand that was in the garbage? Someone's made a campfire here a long time ago. A rusted broken control box for the radio relay tower. Probably for the um, this is probably built specifically for the role playing game, right? This ladder is too rusty to climb. The sea air is eaten away at it. Scented scarf. This light springtime scarf smells like men's cologne mixed with cheap laundry detergent. Someone must have left it behind. Probably from a date? Wear it if you want to delude yourself that spring has arrived. Always. Uh, springtime cold and minus two physical instrument for allergies. Tiny inlets there, off in the far distance where the post trail toured. Sorry, was that islets? Uh, inlets? I don't know. You take a mental note. Tiamutiri seems important somehow. That's what I missed. Can I, is there like a dialogue? There isn't. There isn't like a dialogue. Um... Uh, 
uh, dialogue log. <laughs> I was like, I'm looking for a word, and I've already said it. Let's try going through that door. Does that go un... I don't know. Under the... It probably has something... It probably controls this thing, right? An old door, worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. This would be for towing something in. Like boats? Or uh, uh, what is this thing? The concrete structure looks military in origin. Over half a century old, at least, but sturdily built. I wonder... So interfacing, we've got some stuff for that. Is it... Um, you used to block the... Yeah, I bet you it is. It's like a chain that's used to block... Ships from coming in, maybe? I, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know what it actually is. Interfacing. It's a red check, so we got to be pretty, pretty uh, strong in interfacing to be able to do that. I know we've got some stuff. It's the gloves, right? These. Look at that memory. I think that's all that I have, though. And so that should, if we're at plus one, yeah. I wouldn't have any minuses because if I did, we would have had a minus one before. And we didn't. Um, what about booze? Interfacing is mo motorics or motorics. Okay. Let's just, oh, and speed. Can we double up on that? And this is, so minus two to morale. Let me just the check this out now. Worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. It's the still at- The door hasn't been opened in a long while. Guys, it's still at- you see a handle. It's still at 3%, even with the plus one. Okay. Wait, this one I could use. I need to like drag this over or something. An old door, worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand. Does it actually raise it by two? Or was that just a waste? Interfacing's at, I think it was at three, wasn't it? An old door worn by elements. Wow. Guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. Do it! You rattle the Fuck. handle a bit, <laughs> then push on the door with all your weight. It does not budge. Not only is it locked, it's also jammed shut. Hmm, I wonder what's inside. How can I get in there? You can't. This door cannot be opened. Ever. Ooh. At least you can think about opening it. Uh... About doors in general. They are, after all, fundamental to your life. Perhaps something useful would come from this. I feel like there was some better pry bar that I was supposed to find at some point too, right? Okay. It's something we can think about. We'll think about doors. Well, I guess that was a kind of a waste of drugs, but... It's all good. So, I guess that's it.
Let's go back into the church since we're here. I'm not sure if we're going to need Kim for this. But this is one of the more intriguing storylines that we're involved in. That's new. A prayer book has been left open. Oh, shoot. Feels like there's someone above you watching you from the dark. Well, we know who that is. Yes, what is it? She doesn't look up from the keyboard. How about that two millimeter hole again? The swallow, you mean? What about it? Um. Oh, the data loss, maybe. Yes, that's what led me here. But I suspect it might be something a bit more complicated than that. Okay. Right. Thanks. Hmm. Maybe I need Kim to talk to her about that? Contact microphones. It's so wild. Okay, I thought maybe we could talk to her some more, but I think what I want to do is do the trap. Oh, that's creepy sounds. I want to do the trap thing. Best way to get back to Morel. The beams are splintered. Uh, the bridge didn't collapse on its own. Artillery broke it. I swear I saw something I could interact with. Yeah, right there. How the hell do I get to there? Don't answer that, I'll figure it out. Ah, there's the trap, okay. Have they left now? Or is this a different spot? Oops. This is the trap Morel just set. Right. Checking it over, he said, is just a technicality. But the reeds by the abandoned campsite hiss and shake in the lazily falling rain. Are we looking around because we're concerned we're going to get attacked by one of these reeds? Do any of them look suspicious? No, they look like textures. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. I feel that way too. This trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast Ooh, inside. Oh, breakthrough! Man, it's lonely doing this alone. The wind seems to howl in a strange manner. We're going to get attacked, aren't we? And we don't have a gun. What the hell happened to our gun? Oh, yeah. Everard's working on that, right? Fairweather T-500. Remember that weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor? Like, maybe it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow-moving pry bar would shatter it? Or... If I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. 
Or personal favorite. Frequency something something radio weapon. None of that would work. You need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have oh. a fear with a T500 on it. Because the armor itself is okay. invulnerable. Good to know. Good news is, so are the armor pieces on you. Plus two hand-eye coordination against enemies in FT-500 armor. Are we going to have to fight one? Don't answer that. Wow, we're almost full in the thought cabinet. How close are we to um, leveling up? Zero? We just leveled up, I guess. Okay. Um, the traps. Boathouses. This is the Feld building, right? Yeah. So is there one over here? Am I misinterpreting West wrong? Is West... I just assumed that was North, but may maybe it's not. Ah. Section of the coast hasn't been used in decades. There it is. This trap's not too hard to spot once you know what to look for. Keeping it hidden has not been a priority for the cryptozoologist. Behind you, a ruined residential building looms over the reeds, shielding them from the wind. They rustle confidently in tune with the pitter patter of the rain. Go for the trap. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. One more. Did I not check this out? A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall, reaching from one corner to the other. Okay. Oh, we know about Feld Electrical now, know about the revolution. Bullet holes in the backyard, bullet holes in the plaza. Okay, this is heroic visual calculus. I think it's worth changing uh, our outfit up. I wish you could do it while you're in dialogue, but that's okay. We're at minus one right now. Yeah. It's usually um, what you'd think. Glasses help you with vision. Although it's encyclopedia right there, <laughs> so you got to see the encyclopedia to use it, I guess. Did I miss some stuff. Scattering of bullet holes is spread Even. across the cracked okay. wall, reaching from one corner to the other. Look at how many... <laughs> Wait! Did I do drugs before? <laughs> Do I... How many... Holy shit. Visual calculus is what again. Intellect. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Uh, was it smoking that increased intellect? Why is it like that? It's so annoying. Look how many effects we have on us. That's okay. Still plus one to do calculus. Okay. A scattering of bullet holes. Seventy-two percent now. Do it. 
reaching from a row of ghostly shades stand facing the wall. There are many of them, a dozen at least, their heads lowered and eyes blindfolded. It's quiet, no sound, no movement. This usually happens when it's related to the case. Ten meters away, other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Automatic rifles primed. A gust of wind blows by. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. The morning sun rises beyond the horizon, radiating the first light of the day. The order was carried out at dawn. Oh man, that's so cool. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and brine have since washed all the blood away. Not a trace remains. Although we did see, um, we did reconstruct the, the uh, stained glass window, right? And it wasn't really related to the case. What is this? The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed here, or they did not use a conscience round where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks like this was a mass execution with everyone fully armed. Check out the people against the wall. A host of men, probably in everyday clothes, ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting, a common practice for executions in some nations, as demonstrated by the height level of the bullet holes. Maybe they were sitting, but they're just really tall. They stand facing the wall. It's impossible to discern any details about their personality or background. Ordinary people, familiar, each and every one of them. Who were they? Comrades, the forsaken, the wretched, who tried to rise against the horrors of the world. What about the line of soldiers? Seven men in combat uniforms and dark coats, holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. Soldiers from some side, but from which one? Men of duty, dark duty. Who were they? Murderers, twisted by orders. Young boys forced into killing. What the person standing on the side? He's directing them, clearly. The commandant, the one who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. Who... Who was who in this execution? I need to understand. I'm just a representation of your mental faculties, piecing together any available information. You should probably ask the lieutenant. Good God! A cold sea wind blows away the figures. So do I have to... A row of ghostly shades face him a crumbling So I have to come back here with, with Kim, I guess. seven shades, a cold sea... Is that on my... It's not on here. Hmm. That's tricky. That's going to happen a lot, isn't it? 